This is a sweet trick. Uh, it's really flexible. You can have the climax happen in people's hands, so to speak. Uh, you can have it on a paper napkin, dollar bill, whatever. Lots of little flexibility. Take a few minutes to study the video, learn the slides. You'll be ready to astound people in a coffee shop next time. Okay, here, look. Uh, okay, so what do you need? You need a pen or a marker, a uh, dollar bill, and a stir stick. And you say to someone, look, let's try something here. I'm going to take the stir stick and snap it in about half like this, okay? And you say, you choose either one. The one you choose is the one we're going to use. And let's say they choose this one. You say, great, well, you're going to use that one. But you say, first do me a favor, hold it your hand, which they do. So they're going to ask you to hold this piece. And you can either put this right in their hand, okay? Or just take the piece and wrap it up, in this case, in a bill. Okay, like that. Nice dramatic moment waiting to happen. So they've chosen a piece, you do that. You say, on this other piece, what I'll do is look. I'm going to draw out just a little X. A little X on the end there, like that. And you say, look, watch carefully. Watch this. I just have to bring this anywhere near, they got the hand on it. I just have to bring this anywhere near there. Just go like this and look. The X, look, gone. Say, look, here's the cool part. If you pull this out, they find there's the X. And what I really love about this trick is you can leave absolutely everything to be examined on the table. If you've guessed that this uses our old friend the paddle move, you're 100% right. This is another application of a simple move, but applied in a really fresh way uh, to bring essentially a very different kind of effect with the slight. You're going to start off by first you need a full one and a half. So you're going to take half and put it in your pocket. And depending on your pocket, the jeans, you might either want to lie it flat or up on its side. Okay. I'm going to, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie it flat down the bottom of my pocket. Oh, I actually have another one there from the performance. I don't want to get confused. So I've got this one lying flat at the bottom of my pocket. Okay? To prepare this one, I just put a mark. In this case, we'll put an X at the end of one. And that's it. I'm set to go. Very easy. And again, you can have this in someone's hand, in a dollar bill, whatever you want. You start off by taking the stir stick, and you don't have to do the paddle move here. And the paddle move is, as I turn my hand over, I'm going to push with my thumb and roll this over once, okay? But notice if I do the roll as I do the turn, you can't see the X because I'm showing you only one side twice because I'm doing the secret roll, okay? So you can start by doing that if you want, but I think, it's, I think you just take this out, snap this in about half, okay? Snap it in half. Say you choose one, the one you choose we're going to use, and it doesn't matter. If they choose this one, that's the one with the X. You have them hold on to that or put that in the bill. If they choose this one, you say, great, I'm going to make a mark on that in a second. But there's this equivocate, this sense of fairness. Either way, though, you end up, you take this, and this is where, if you want, you can show, casually flash both sides and show, well, look, we'll put this, and you don't say, look, it's unmarked. Look, there's no X on there. You don't talk. You just sort of say, okay, we'll take this piece and we'll put it in your hand. And if you're going to put it in someone's hand, lay it there so that when they close their hand over it, it turns, the, the X will be shown the moment they open their hand, okay? But here I just did a dollar bill, which works nicely. So here I take this, put it inside the dollar bill, wrap it up, okay? And as I'm wrapping, I just turn it over, okay? So now I've turned it over, it's all set. That is ready to be revealed whenever I want, okay? So I've got that there. Here, all I do is put an X on this, okay? Boom, like that. And as I bring it closer and turn, all I'm going to do is the move. I just roll it over, but boy, it looks like that X just melts away. It's so magical, okay? So it's here, and I'm just going to come over, and it just looks like that X melts away. Now you absolutely want to do that paddle move, just casually. Don't do it six times, but just to show the X is really gone. I mean, it's gone. You can see it's gone. I take this, and I put it in my pocket, and as I do, I make sure I leave it standing upright so it's standing. All focus goes here. They either open their hand or I open the bill showing the X there. People start to freak out. I mean, that's insane that it happened in their hands. And then very casually, I reach down, go to the bottom of my pocket. I grab the flat one that was waiting there the whole time, and I just drop it on the table. I don't say you can examine everything. I just sort of leave it on the table there, and I say, does anyone want to see another trick? And everybody comes over here. They're looking at the pieces, everything's like this. It is a real fooler.